The Gate City transportation saga is far from over. The transportation company closed abruptly, accused of fraud. We've heard from the employees who had their paycheck swiped from their bank accounts without notice. Disabled and special needs clients were left without rides to the doctor, and today we learned there is even more. Some of the former employees say they can't find similar work, and they say Gate City is to blame. So 2 one knows Emily Spain took a closer look at the paperwork in question here. Emily. When Robin Klein got this paperwork in the mail, she was shocked and frustrated. Not only was she out of work, but now the license required to do her job is also gone. Right now it's very hard because at this point I'm not trusting any employer. Robin Klein worked for Gate City Transportation for nearly a year. It has left such a bitter taste in my mouth. I, n I can't trust anybody right now. She drove dead bodies for organ donation, a job that requires a state permit. She says Gate City Transportation filed the paperwork and paid the fees to renew permits every year. But this year, the check to renew Klein's permit bounced. Her permit revoked. When I opened up the documents, I was hysterical because all I could think was, I can't even afford an attorney and there's nobody to help me. I took the paperwork to a local attorney. She was a victim of an unfortunate circumstance. David Daggett says Klein does have options. Just reapply, pay the fee, and get her permit. The bad side on that, that prior revocation, will always come up on her record. Daggett says that's much cheaper than challenging the state board or appealing it through the court system. Many times more expensive than it would be just to reapply and get a brand new license. Still, for Klein, it's a headache. It's really a shame that he's putting us in this situation. I also reached out to the Gate City owner, Roderick Jessup, about Rob Robin's situation. The woman who answered the phone told me Jessup does not have a statement at this time. And Julie, or Frank rather, investigators say Gate City received nearly $20 million in fraudulent Medicaid claims. Yeah, and to keep this from happening to you, David Daggett suggests paying for your own permits and having your employer reimburse you. That way you're in charge of your own paperwork.